Hey guys, how are you going? Welcome to your 11th Svelte tutorial. This one is going to be on DOM events. So things like on click, um, on input and things like that. Okay, so it's quite easy to do so using Svelte. We even covered it in a previous tutorial, but let's have a look at a quick example right now. So we need to first declare an event handler for, you know, reacting to a particular event. So right here, we can make a new function. We can call this function handle click. So basically, we're going to be um, adding this event handler to a button when you press or click on the button. Okay, so we can say right here, for example, alert, and we can say you clicked the button. So quite straightforward. Now, how do I add this event? Well, if we go down inside the HTML right here, we can quite easily add a new button right here, and we can say something like click me. Now, Let's go inside the button and we're going to simply then just say on and then colon click. Then we can just say right here inside our curly brackets, we can say handle click right here. So now essentially as the code implies, when you click on the button, it is going to run the handle click function. So now saving this right here and going into the browser, we can see upon clicking on the button, we do indeed receive the alert message right there. So that is really simple in how it works. Now, um, let's have a look at a different example, this one being an input uh, event. Okay, so let's go inside uh, once again, the text editor, and we're going to be changing this to be handle input. And we're going to grab hold of the event object right there. So now we can simply console.log and we can pass through here the, um, the event object. Okay, so now we can create a new um, input field right here. And we can say input field with a type of text. Then we can quite simply just say on, then colon input. And we can say right here, um, handle input. So once again, the exact same story passing through handle input, I can save this and go inside the browser and we can see now upon uh, giving the input field some input, we are receiving the input event right there in the console. Now, if you want to check, you know, if um, if you actually pressed enter and, you know, to, you know, for example, you want to then lose focus on the input field, you can quite easily do so using um, the, uh, the key uh, the key up event. So basically, when the actual key um, from the user uh, hits up, we are then going to handle that input. And you probably want to name this now handle key up, something like that. So now saving this, we're going to get a similar result. This time, we can actually gain access to um, the key code, which was pressed. For example, if I press on enter, we can see right here, we now get, of course, the code enter, and we can see exactly what key the user has pressed, okay? Now, the very last thing to cover when it comes to DOM events is going to be um, having your event handlers in line, okay? So, obviously, in this very simple scenario right here, it is probably a bit too much to, you know, um, uh, have a function right up here for it. So we can easily just remove this function right here and we can move it to an inline function. So we're going to say right here using uh, uh, braces, uh, we can just say right here uh, using the arrow syntax and then we can quite simply just say something like uh, console.log, then we can pass through E. Now, of course, E is going to come through our parameters right there, and that's going to work like a regular old JavaScript arrow function. So now, uh, saving this right here and refreshing or going back inside the browser, we can see we get the exact same result right there. So, of course, you can do things inside here. Maybe you want to run other functions or do simple calculations. Maybe you want to say A equals A plus 1 or something like that. Whatever you want to do, you can do inside here um, if you want to, you know, go about it that way. And uh, that is events in Svelte. Thanks for watching. In the next one, we're going to be taking a look at event modifiers.